Wow, we're going to turn to a different story now, talking a little bit about business here. One of California's oldest and largest oil fields is getting a bit of a, a green makeover. One company is cleaning up the drilling process by harnessing the power of the sun. And we're going to find William Lajeunesse just there. He's in Colinga, California, with uh, this story and an incredible shot behind you, William. Well, Jenna, uh, California's oil production is declining. It's falling but down about 25%. And what is left is very hard to get out of the ground. It, it's like this. It's a very heavy crude. Looks like this, not like this. So companies like Chevron have had to get creative. Basically, I am 33 stories high right now on top of a huge boiler. But instead of boiling that water with coal or natural gas, they're using the heat of the sun. In the sky above California's oil country, a shiny white spot looks suspended in thin air. People were looking over the fence trying to see what's going on, um, trying to get a glimpse of what we're doing inside. Inside this compound, the mystery is solved. A cutting edge science project. Nearly 8,000 mirrors create a giant beam of heat focused on a single solar receiver. In the receiver, we have water that runs up through tubes. We boil the water and make steam and we push it across the street to the oil reservoir and down the reservoir to heat up the crude oil. Across the street is one of California's oldest oil fields. After a hundred years, all that's left is a super thick, stubborn crude, nearly impossible to pump out without steam. We're placing steam at high pressure, 1,500 feet down, and then through holes in pipe, it enters a sandstone that's saturated with heavy oil, moving through that oil, heating it up. The project marries America's newest technology with one of its oldest fuels, saving a local economy without spending billions overseas. For a state short on revenues, but rich in sunshine. Now this is a demonstration project, and if it works, and it appears that it is, they're going to use the solar technology in places around the world where natural gas is either unavailable or unaffordable. Places like Indonesia where you have very heavy crude. Uh, basically, the other nice thing, Jenna, there's no tax money involved in this green project, and if it uh, take a place like California, very hard to get a new drilling permit, you can get 40% more oil by using this kind of enhanced recovery than you can without it. That also so is very important for domestic energy. Back to you. Hey, William, really quick, do you have to wear any type of special sunglasses or anything if you're around that area? Uh, just with all those mirrors and all that reflection, is there any sort of risk? <laughs> Good point. Okay, you can look at the mirrors below. They've got these pointed, obviously not in our direction, or we would fry. Um, and as a matter of fact, I want to show you, Mark, look at this up here. When, the, when they turn one of these mirrors towards us, you can see where this melted. Right above me is that boiler. It gets to be a thousand degrees when they put that, that power of these, all these mirrors on these boilers. One of them, they were moving it, they run by a computer, and they, it, it came past us, and I gotta tell you, it was you know like when you were a kid and you used the magnifying glass, boom, it just heated us right up, and that was only one mirror. So yeah, it gets really, really hot. It's incredible, it's the shot of the day, William. Thank you very much, what an interesting story. You don't wanna to get a, too many TV people around all those mirrors, though, you can never do the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad he's got his back one. to the mirrors. Right. Poor photographer has to look down toward him. <laughs> Hey, a family making...